Hello and welcome to SaaS Junior Maths. Today we are going to be looking at theory of log reading. So let's quickly look at what we understand by this. Now, given that P equals to A raised to power Y, given that P equals A raised to power Y, then Y equals the log reading of P to the base A. Now, this is what we want to look at today. Now let's assume that we have 8 equals to 2 raised to power 3. Then I can as well say that 3 equals log 8 to the base 2. Now, what do you understand by this? We are trying to look at the relationship between exponentiation or let's say um, index form and logarithmic form. So there is a relationship between index form and logarithmic form. And I would say that logarithmic form is a kind of an inverse of what? Of um, index form. So for every logarithmic um, form or equation we see, we will always derive what? An uh, exponential equation. So let's look at it. As you can see that if 8 equals 2 raised to power 3, now what do you observe? You can see that this is the power, and this is the base. Then this is the result. So it's telling us that 8 equals 2 raised to the power 3, and that is true. Now, if you should take it to the world of log reading, this base, this base remains the same, which is 2, base 2. This 8, which happens to be the result, now becomes the number here. So it's going to be log 8 base 2, and the exponent, which is the power, gives us the result. So what they are now trying to tell us here is that if, if what they are trying to tell us here is that if 8 equals to, or sorry, if 2 raised to the power 3 equals 8, then automatically, I can say then log 8 base 2 equals 3. So what this thing tells us here is that if 2 raised to the power 3 equals 8, then if I find log 8 on, in base 2, the answer I get is 3. Now, what do you get? This 3 happens to be my exponent. The exponent is the answer for this log. And the 8, which happens to be the result, happens to be the what? The, uh, the number on this side. So as you can see, um, with, when you get yourself used to it, um, you will understand how, how it is done. So let's now look at um, the examples here. So now, the next question is this. How do we or how can we um, switch or convert from index form to logarithmic form and from logarithmic form to index form? So let's quickly look at something. 8 equals 2 raised to power 3. This is in index form. If I want to switch from index form to logarithmic form, the first thing I'll have to do, I'll have to I'll write log since I'm switching to logarithmic form. So the first thing I'll have to do is I'll write log. Then this 8, I'll write it here. Now let's watch. In fact, let me do it like this. This is 2, right? So what this 2 will do is it will go down to meet 8 and it becomes a base. And no, let's not forget that this 2 initially was raising 3. Now I want to switch from index to logarithmic form. So this 2 raised to power 3, this 2, which happens to be the base, will go low and come down to meet this 8. And once it goes down, then this exponent, which happens to be the power, now becomes the boss. As you can see, and here is log. That is how we can switch from what? From index to logarithm. Let me start another example again. Let's say we have, um, mm, let's say, 16 equals to 4 raised to power 2. Now, this is in index form, and I want to switch to logarithmic form. The first thing I will have to do is I will know that this 4 is the base for exponential, like for index. This is the base, and this is the power, and of which this is the result or the answer. Now, I want to switch from um, index form to logarithmic form. 
the first step, the first thing that we have to do is this that happens to be the base will go low, will go down to meet 16. Now, this 4 now becomes the base. Can you see now? And, you know, once this one goes down, it means this will not be there again. And this one that happens to be the power before will now be the what? The result here. And I'll just write log. So in this case, I'll say log 16 base 4. And that is how it is. That's how we switch. So if I now, generally speaking, so if P equals to A raised to power Y, let's not forget that this A, which happens to be the base, will go low to meet P. So it's beyond that P. And I'll, and I'll erase this. This Y happens to be the power to now be the big boss here. Then I'll write log. So it's going to be log P is A equals Y. So using that technique will help uh, solving these um, questions. So let's quickly look at the examples and let's get started. So now let's look at the, the first question says, write each of the following index form in logarithmic form. So now let's get started. This is A. A is 27 equals 3 raised to power 3. Now this is an index form. We want to switch to logarithmic form. To switch to logarithmic form, the first thing that we have to do is I'll write log because I'm switching to logarithmic form. Let's not forget that this is this happens to be the base. So in the world of log, the base will appear here. Let me show you to, let me show you guys again. P equals a y. In the world of indices, this is the base. This is the power, and this is the uh, the result. But in the world of log reading, this base will come down here. This result will be here, and the power will now give us the uh, the result for log reading. So it's going to be y. So I will say log p base a equals y. That is just the, the trick here. So we are going to follow these tactics. Let's not forget our a in the world of log reading. Our base is always below. So I will say this is log three. Let's not forget that this is it. Then this 27 will be here. Then this power happens to be the result. That is what it means. Please take note that this uh, big guy here becomes a small person here. And the power happens to be the big boss at the end of the day. Let's look at the next question. B, 128 equals 2 raised to the power 7. So what do we do? The first thing I have to do is I'll write log. Look at the transformation now. This 2, which happens to be the base, will go down here because that is the definition. So here is what? Here is the base. Then here, this now becomes the result. And this becomes the number. Please, let's uh, take note of that. Let's take note of that. So now, this is base. Now, 128 will be here, and the result will be 7. So let's look at C. 1 over 9 equals 3 raised to the power minus 2. The same, the same technique, the same style, irrespective of how the question comes. So in this case, I will write log. Now, let's not forget that this uh, number will go down. So it's going to be log 1 over 9 base 3 equals to minus 2. Nice. So let's proceed. So we have we'll move on to the next one, which is D. And D is 0 0.01 equals 10 raised to power minus 2. So in this is index. We are switching to log reading. So first thing I have to do is I will write log. This one becomes my base. And this, all I have here becomes the number 0 0.01 equals to, let's not forget that the exponent, the power here will always give us the result. So we, let's move to E. 1,000 equals 10 raised to the power 3. In index form, we are switching to logarithmic form. So the first thing I have to do, I'll write log. This one, which happens to be the base, will settle here. So, and 1,000 
will be here. That is the main number equals to three. The power here becomes the result. So that is how we switch from where? From index form to logarithmic form. Now, the next question now is asking us to change each of the following logarithmic form into index form. Change each of the following logarithmic form into index form. So what do we do? Now, let's look at A. Log 64 base 4 equals 3. We want to switch from logarithmic form to index form. The first thing we are going to do is, since we know that we are switching back to index, it means that the log, the log will not be needed anymore. So what do we do? This um, base will rise to meet this 3. So it's now going to be, once this rise, number 1, this log will not be there. So I'll write 64 equals, you know, when, I, when this 4 goes to this side, then this 64 becomes the boss. So 64 equals 4 raised to power 3. So this one, that what was to be the result before, will now be raised to its power. So let's look at the next one, B. This is A. B is um, log 1, oh, sorry, 10,000 base 10 equals 4. Log 10,000 base 10 equals 4. So since I'm switching back to index, log will not be there. So it's going to be what? 10,000 equals 10 raised to power 4. This is how it goes. Are you getting it now? So this is 10 raised to power 4. So this is 10,000 equals 10 raised to power 4. Let's see. So let's look at this one. Log 1 over 2 base 2 equals minus 1. Log 1 over 2 base 2 equals minus 1. So what am I going to do? I'll just remove the log region from the picture. So this goes to the other side. That is, the base goes to meet um, the number that we have on the right-hand side. So we have 1 over 2 equals 2 raised to power minus 1. Let's, let's not forget that. Once we switch to index form, the log leaves the picture, and this 2, which happens to be the base, will now go to the right-hand side so as to raise this number to its power. So it becomes 2 raised to power minus 1. 1 over 2 equals 2 raised to power minus 1. Then D, which is um, log... 0 0.001 base 10 equals minus 3. So here too, the same thing goes. So we have 0 0.001 equals 10 raised to power minus 3. And that is how we can switch from index form to logarithmic form and from logarithmic form to index form. Thank you. And thanks for watching.